So recently I was invited to have lunch with a lady that's running for Congress from one of the, for one of the districts in California and I was obviously very honored to go to that lunch and as we started talking she told me her story first, her background and why she was inspired to run for Congress and they wanted me to endorse her and support her and so I started posing some questions and this happened literally the week after Time Magazine comes out with the article right on the cover of it saying the United States of Texas. And when you read some of the stats, I wanted to really know, this is not just directed to her, this is for any of our politicians in the state of California, why this keeps happening to California. I'll give you some numbers that it covered in the article. One was, in the last 20 years, in the last 20 years, 4 million people from California have moved to the state of Texas. So for every 183,000 people that move to Texas, 100,000 are moving from Texas to California, right? And you continue and study the numbers and you say, why is this taking place? Well, let's look at some of the numbers. California's population is 38 million. Texas's population is roughly 26 million. You look at the pros and cons and you say, well, what's the state taxes? In California, if you make $50,000 per year, you're, making rough, you're paying roughly 9.3% in taxes. And it goes all the way up to 13.3% in California. If you live in Texas, your state taxes are zero. You literally pay no taxes. For real estate taxes, California, you're paying roughly 1.25 in California. For Texas, you're paying roughly 1.8 in the state of tax, Texas for real estate. So it benefits California in that area. But the property value, California, average property value that's listing price is 772. The average listing price in Texas is 290, about less than half, maybe a third of it, right? So you sit down and go back and forth with these numbers and you say, well, what's better in California than Texas? Well, I have to definitely say the Lakers are 10 times better than the Mavericks. I mean, I just found out right now my camera guy is a Maverick fan himself. He's going to get fired right after this episode. We should. But he told me he's a Mavericks fan. Who would want to be a Mavericks fan, right? But he's a Mavericks fan. And you say California's got the 49ers. Dallas will say they got the American team. You know, they got the Cowboys, right? We got the Angels. We got the Dodgers. They got the Rangers, right? They got the Spurs, we got the Golden State Warriors. We can go back and forth on what's better and who's better. But I think when you think about it, the article in Time Magazine stated that those that want entitlement programs are moving to California. And those that want to be left alone and create jobs are moving to Texas. They call it the cowboys of business are moving to Texas. And when you look at unemployment rate in the state of California, we're ranked number 47, 8.9% unemployment rate. You look at Texas, roughly 6.4, they're ranked number 17th in all of America, all the states for unemployment rate. Why is that? Why is it that that's taking place? So as I went and asked this question from the congressman, she herself didn't have an answer. And she said, you know what, I honestly don't know what we would do. Because I want to know what will you do to keep business in the state of California and not leave it. And I think in every single thing we look at, it doesn't matter whether it's sports, whether it's magazines, books, churches, whatever you look at, TV, movies, there's always a lead dog. There's always a leader that's ahead of everybody else. In this category for the states in America, Texas just happens to be the leader in creating jobs, creating an economy, creating a place where people want to move to. So my message of the week would be to all the other states in America, maybe we can learn a thing or two about what Texas is doing with their people and their state to attract so many hardworking business owners that want to go out there and move to Texas. It's my message of the week to you.